Hello, I'm James Pergola, coffee ambassador for Nespresso USA. To power on the machine, remove the drip tray and place it on a flat surface. The power switch is located underneath the water tank. Press the switch on to activate the screen. While the machine is heating up, replace the drip tray. Once the machine heats, choose the proper language. For the US, press the arrow to scroll to the English American option. Select and press the arrow to continue. Press the arrow to continue again. Set the time on the machine by selecting the appropriate time zone. Arrow through the map until North America is highlighted. Select the check mark to confirm. Select the correct time zone within the continent. Press the check mark to confirm. The geographic location will display. Scroll to the next screen and use the up down arrows to set the exact time. Note that the time is in a European format. Scroll to the next screen. Use the arrows to set the date. Scroll to the next screen. Set the machine's energy saving mode. The default is set to 90 minutes before the machine automatically enters standby mode, meaning near motion will wake the machine. Now, set time to sleep. The default is 120 minutes until the machine enters sleep mode. You will need to touch the machine to wake it out of sleep mode. Scroll to the next screen. Set the machine's beverage temperatures. Use the plus minus buttons to set the levels for coffee temperature and then for milk. The Nespresso N logo indicates the ideal settings. Scroll to the next screen. With the Nespresso Memento 120, you can customize the recipes which appear on each selection screen. You can select up to 10 recipes across two screens. Scroll to set up each page. Select the page number. Highlight the recipes you'd like to see. A yellow circle will appear around those recipes selected. As a default, Ristretto, Espresso, and Lungo sizes are pre-selected. Choose others to add to the list. The final selections will display. Scroll forward to confirm. Repeat the same for the second screen. For page one, we chose recipes without milk. For page two, we will choose recipes with milk. Now, you'll set the total length for the main recipes. Use the plus minus buttons to adjust the length of the recipe. A dotted line will appear during the adjustment. The Nespresso N logo and a solid line will appear when the ideal setting is reached. An S, M, or L will indicate the need for a small, medium, or large cup. For milk beverages, this is the total volume of the drink. The machine also features the top-off setting, enabling you to add foam, hot milk, or water separately. First, choose which top-off functions will appear on the screen. Then, enable the top-off choices. Set the access code to the machine. This is a four-digit code to unlock the machine. Enter a four-digit code and then re-enter it to confirm. If you are using an internal filter, locate the water hardness test strip. Follow the on-screen instructions to determine and set the water hardness. You'll be instructed to adjust the bottom filter ring. As a final step, insert the internal filter. The screen will show that the machine is heating. The machine will go through a rinse cycle before first usage. The machine will display the default main screen with top-off options and the insert capsule message. Your machine is ready to use.